can just put the meeting to order. Uh, and it's the finance committee meeting. And today is uh, March 24th, 530. And to go over the budget, set the um, uh, meetings for coming up to meet with all the departments. And we have a few items for uh, transfer as well at the end. So um, Linda and uh, Carolyn will uh, present, I guess, the first part or whatever we want to go over um, part of the budget. Did you want to go over them or do you want to just set it and wait? I'm not sure. Um, I actually, I wasn't planning to present anything. I thought you oh, were yeah. just going to, I thought you were going to set a schedule tonight. I mean, I think you all were there when we, we went through the revenues and the, uh, the differences and um, I, I can do that again, if you like. No, I don't think you have to. I just wanted to, didn't know if you had something for us. No. 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 Go there again. Um, okay. <laughs> You had enough, Paul, already? This is just the second meeting of the year. <laughs> I know. <laughs> um, well, I will tell you that what you received in the, uh, if you received it, the 43 pages of the, uh, there's one budget per page, which is why it's more pages than it seems to, because some are pretty small, um, that they follow in the same order as uh, your general fund expenditures summary. Which is the uh, which is pages three and four of what you received last time, and um, they start so they're in order by department number. So if you look at your general fund fund uh, general fund expenditures, it starts with one fourteen moderator, one twenty two select board, one twenty nine town administrator, and so on, all the way to the part way down the second page. That is the order that. Um, these sheets are in. You don't even need to print them out if you just scroll down. Through. So we'll have that and probably some page numbers on it so you can refer quickly to that's on page 12 or whatever when you're when you're there for the um, for your budget hearings or even sooner. Um, hopefully I'll have it sooner. But we have a limited number of colored printers. We have a limited number, uh, limited access to Acrobat um, to to move around our documents and, and assemble them for you. So um, we'll work on it. And that's, that's Thank really you. it. Thanks. All right. I think I actually, that uh, Carolyn may have had, I, were you going to, I, I didn't mean to say we weren't going to do anything because we were going to. I just wanted to start um, out with it. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, I, if I can I just kind of, yeah, Amy, if that's okay with you, I just wanted to kind of just reiterate. I know I shared a lot at the select, the tri board meeting. Um, but I just want to kind of just still kind of set the stage of how that budget was prepared, if that's okay. Sure. Yeah, just to kind of clarify a few a few things. Um, I, I guess one of the things I just want to share with you, um, the uniqueness of me presenting the budget and uh, creating it and recommending it to you guys is you not only you had actually two former finance committee members reviewing these meeting with the department heads, Linda for you. And then I was on my finance committee for five years as well. So the uniqueness of when we met with each department head, we were not just looking at through the eyes of a treasurer or through the eyes of a town administrator. We were really, it's hard to take that hat off once you've had it on the finance, a fa finance committee member. Mm -hmm. So we really, when we met and sat with each department head, so I met with all of them, including the smaller ones that didn't, some of them were just level funded across the board. But I still met with them because it's still it's still a different community. So one community is not the same as another community. So I just kind of wanted to bring that reassurance to all of you guys that it wasn't I wasn't just coming in through the lens of a town administrator. Um, and then when Linda and I met with the larger community, uh, I'm sorry, the larger departments, um, it was two finance committee members coming from one coming from your lens and one coming from outside. So it, it really had different different ways of looking at it. But I have to tell you the department heads really were, they were really good. We, we would, we asked difficult questions. Um, and, and I know as a former department head, it isn't easy to be asked some of those questions that we had to ask and um, much harder when we had to find out what would happen if we had to cut a line item, how would it impact the program and the services, but they did. And I just want to just reassure you that they did it um, they, some departments went back two or three times. So as you go over them, know that there has been a great deal of scrutiny, um, again, as uh, not just the treasurer and the town administrator, but also as former finance committee members. 
Um, one of the things that I just wanted to tell you, I made a commitment that I, I can't speak on behalf of the finance committee. I can't speak on behalf of the select board or the residents, but I want you to know that I did go to them throughout this whole process, including now when I asked them to look at their budgets for this year and whatever they could roll back to help us with free cash next year, my intent was not to penalize them. So I just want, I'm gonna always kind of throw that in the next few months that um, those that those that had to or um, were able to go back and make additional cuts, um, I just don't want them to be penalized that and to remember that their budget that we present that, that um, I recommended and brought to the table at the tribe out board, that wasn't a level funded budget from a normal year. That was a level funded budget from an already significantly reduced budget from last year. Uh -huh. So that I'm just, that's another thing I'm gonna remind you of. So I, you know, the only term I could think of, you know, as I was fighting to get on today, tonight was some of these budgets, I have to use this term, they're anorexic. They, in a sense that they have been, you know, stripped away of anything that as a finance committee member, and I'm speaking as a former one, that we might think might be fat. I'm telling you, there's no fat in these budgets. So I just, I'm just gonna reiterate that as well. Um, and that to really use this as an interim budget to get us to FY23 in a responsible way. Cause um, I, I wanna remind you too, that budget was cut twice. Once um, after David submitted the initial one, once was because of COVID in the expectations of lower revenues. So th those budgets were, were already reduced after the initial budget was, was presented last year. And then when the town voted to lower the tax rate to the prior before the present year, they had additional reduction. So it is, this is um, a lean budget to say the least. Um, I know that some of these budgets are level funded. I wanna encourage you if you, if you are um, willing to do this to still meet with every department I think it's important that you all hear what they have done during COVID. Um, there is an assumption that um, less work, I can tell you more work. And I talked about this last week, more work was done by, by uh, your employees um, because of COVID. And I just wanna, um, I, but I want you to hear that. I think it's important that you hear that from these departments, what they have done um, under these circumstances to, to, to either provide the same level of service or very different service and, and some of these departments have done above and beyond the police department, fire department, delivering meals, um, the COA going, doing amazing things with their programs. Um, so, and I, if I can help with that, cause I'm not sure what role you want me to play in this. Every community is different. And um, I don't know if it's, um, I don't know what role really, um, if, it, if you want the same role that David played um, last in the former years, or you want me to do something different, I'm willing to do whatever you want. Linda and I are committed to be here at all the hearings, and um, I'm willing to help out coordinate those those hearings so that it will, some of the departments that you would come and talk with do make sense to group them together. So I just wanted to give that little bit of preface as you plan that. So thank you. Thanks. Well, we do want you to be part of, so we, when we do the scheduling, we would like we do like it, you and Linda, um, especially you, Carolyn, to be part of all of our meetings. Absolutely. Um, so we definitely would like that. Um, I think Linda kind of knows how, how it works around here, but we are very much open to change and in, in different things, especially to simplify things. We like that. That's um, what we've been doing. <laughs> but um, yeah, any other questions, you know, um, as far as, you know, what, what David did, you know, Linda definitely can let you know there if you're, if there's something missing because I do like that David would present get everything together present everything to us and and we would then just review and do the recommendations and I totally agree with you that it is a lean budget I mean I think it was four times that David went back to that budget last year he was not pleased with us at all I mean he was like he's like I got to do this again um it was tough I know that was a lean budget yeah absolutely um, so it will be interesting to see where these numbers, you know, to look at all the numbers and everything. Um, and I don't want to uh, penalize anybody down the you know, for giving money back. I think that would be the wrong thing to do. 
um, because you want to, you don't want to, you want to give people incentive not to spend w- during a crisis and um, to give back the money and pitch in as a team player. Mm-hmm. So I think that's important. We sh- definitely shouldn't penalize them, but I don't think, I think the crisis is still happening. And I think what happens is because it's, we're in a delayed reaction, right? Because um, everything is delayed a little bit. So mm-hmm. we're going to feel this for the next, the next year. I but I think there is, um, you know, one of the questions down the road will be, you know, is that what kind of light do we see at the end of the tunnel? When we, do we expect some of these things to come back? You know, um, and is there going to be, are we going to look, be looking at some help from the state or from the federal government and things like that? Is that going to be coming into the town? And if so, how can we, you know, what are our expectations? And then maybe can we then go backwards? So we need to keep that Band-Aid yeah, on right now um, mm-hmm. while we're in this kind of emergency. And then and then as soon as we are able to, then start releasing it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So um, I, don't, I, I don't really have any questions for you because it was a very good presentation as of last week, um, I thought. Um, does anybody else have anything? I, I would like to add, um, Carolyn, uh, this is, I'm Valerie, and I just wanted to tell you that I really appreciated the comments that you opened up with today. I've been on the finance committee for six years, and in the very first year, we were cutting, cutting, you know, we, we talked to everybody line by line on their budgets, and we've been cut, you know, we've been doing that for six years, you know, and there's only so much you can do, you know, before you start cutting into bone. And um, so I, I appreciate your acknowledging just how bare bones this is. Thank you. Um. I did want to, uh, I mean, since we are in talking about this too, um, maybe we can have a little bit of a discussion on, um, because we did talk about um, percentages a little bit last time. And um, and we want to keep it simple, but at the same time, it was, uh, we talked, and, and there might be a little bit of, we might find it useful. And so I thought I can open this up for discussion about that. It, it's harder to do it on a tri-board meeting. It's a little bit easier on this uh, meeting to have like a small discussion on it. Does anybody? Yeah, I think um, I agree with the sentiment on the tri board meeting that the percentage could be a little confusing. Um, but at least going over the budget, I find it useful to always have the relative and absolute changes to line items just because it can provide additional context. Um, if it's not too much of an issue to have the percentage on the side as well. If it is, I can always run it on my own, but I figured it'd be useful for us to all have it all in the same paper to look at and, and talk with, so. I, I agree with that. I do. Is it for, would you say, do you find that in, in all of the line items or and what is it that you're most in, interested in, Dylan? Or is it like every single one or is it, or are we talking about the revenues or more of the expenses or I just- feel like- yeah, I feel like expenses is the most useful area um, for me. Um, obviously, you might be going through a line item and there's a whatever. You could have a $100 change and it's 50%, which if you had just the $100, you might not have the context. If you only have the 50%, you might not have the context. Uh, and yeah, but yeah, I think expenses is the area that would be most useful to have both uh, absolute and relative change. Um, okay. L- Linda, did you want to, you have some good theories about that both ways on, on, you know, just because you've done it before. Right. I, I've never found it useful and I've always found it uh, more a stumbling uh, point. Uh, I mean, I, I think specifically um, when you're taking something out of one budget and putting it in another budget, and the budgets are two sizes. So it might be a huge increase in a small budget and hardly not even affect the decrease in the other budget because it's overwhelmed by other increases. I'm not sure in some of the context of some of what we've done to move things around, it's going to be um, that useful. I understand finance committee that you can, you you know how to adjust for these things, um, 
But, uh, you know, when we were talking with department heads early in the, in the game about whether we do this or not, definitely it was coming back to department heads. Well, people are saying, how come you have such a big, why, such a big increase, increase in this line? And it might be one of the smaller increases in the entire budget. And, but they would focus on the fact that it went from $250 to 500 was a huge percentage increase and completely ignore some other lines that had much, um, much larger dollar uh, increases. Uh, it, it just seems to be, uh, so for that reason, I, I thought it's sort of, it's distracting and, and sends people uh, chasing down a, a wrong path. Um, also, you know, when we have large expenses that come and go from year to year, um, like, well, we used to have it, we put the audit in, and then you take it out and the next year you'd put it back in again and then the next year it would be out. So it would be these big swings in the bottom line of that budget, which really didn't mean anything about operations. It just meant the audit was due every other year. Um, so, um, I mean, so is it something like maybe the bottom line of each budget would be enough? I mean, like maybe through that summary, shirt, a summary sheet, adding in the per percentage to the expenditures the way it was added in the revenues? Or are you really talking about line by line all through all through the entire itemized budget. So I, I think that um, as far as I get what you're saying on some of those, and it has been confusing, especially when they move from budget to budget. Yeah. That really throws me. And that did that a lot last last year when we kept moving things around. That threw me. But it, I did find it very useful for certain things so say there is, and I, and, and I did use this a lot last year because it, it would bring my eye to it. I might catch on, oh, there's a, there's an increase. So I'd go and look. And yeah, if it's like 250 and it's uh, yeah. 500 and it's a big percentage, I get that. So I could disregard it. But it might catch my eye um, and maybe it's salaries. And it's like, why is that uh, such a big thing? And it could be, well, there's a person adding. Well, I think that's kind of a big deal you know, why that's, why that's big. And so, you know, I guess um, it, it's how we could do it ourselves. Absolutely. Yeah. And I w probably would go through and compare one to the other. But if I was, it, it, it is a little bit less work if I did salaries and I just saw, oh, it's 1.5%. Well, I know that's the COLA. So I'm going to disregard that and keep going, you know, not think that there's anything else in that um, salary line item or, yeah. um, if it's something really small, but um, so I, I, I get both sides of it. I, I mean, I definitely yeah. do. The, the Hopefully we're not going to be moving parts around. Yes, maybe this time because you guys are doing it differently. But next year, I'm hoping we're going to have the same. So next, maybe this year might not be as big of a deal, but next year will be a big deal to see those changes in percentages, I would think, because everything should be more of the same. Sure, we're constantly going to be improving, though, Amy. <laughs> well, yeah, but you're not going to be moving this bucket. This bucket. Yeah. Well, can we hey, full, let's do full disclosure. Let's do full disclosure just to warn them. So, because I am kind of, I like efficient and simple. There are some line items that we did put back in one line item that I think has gotten separated in the past, um, like legal, for example. Legal is getting charged to different departments. Okay. But they're getting paid by one person. The one person is is doing that charging back to those departments for legal, and it's usually me. Um, so I, that would be one thing that you're going to see legal. We put under one department under the select board, and mm -hmm. that would and that's going to include everybody because it it also didn't help the departments themselves where it looked like they had a big increase or whatever, and it really wasn't. It was it might have been applied differently. So. There's going to be some things like that that we did consolidate under one department, the select boards department. Like I took out the town administrator department and just put my salary into the select board because it was some, it was easier. Um, so there's going to be examples of that, but we, we're going to explain that as we go along. And it, I also want to tell you that there is that column that shows you there was this line item went up nineteen thousand dollars. This line item went down ten thousand dollars. You that will definitely be there. But the percentage that 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 will be your decision, and we can do either way. I I would prefer to see both. I just think we have to be realistic and understanding when percentages really don't mean much. Because as you say, you have a hundred hours, you go to two hundred hours, it looks like a fifty percent increase. It's not significant. It's just what it costs. Um, 
but it's a way for us to be flagged to look at critically just going down a column and say, oh, well, there's a large increase there and then look at it and you can discount it because you can, you understand what's behind it. And of course you guys are going to explain that to us. Um, I think that uh, it just, it's another, it's another kind of flag for us to catch just, just to make it quick for us to find changes that might need to have at least an, you know, an explanation. So that's all. I just think we have to be open to the fact that percentages are a funny thing, depending on the volume that you're dealing with. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's all. And and I think our team is educated enough to, you know, despite my Philadelphia public school education, I think I can handle that. Is there a way when you um, when if you do these, Linda, that we print them and then afterwards you because there's a, a column that you can hit hide. So I mean, you don't have to have this down the road for everything. You know, it doesn't have to get printed over and over again, but you could give it to us. There's a way, yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> There's a way. It's just a call. And in fact, I probably, uh, I think I already have it hidden. Okay. <laughs> there you go. It was helpful. <laughs> yeah, that was easy. <laughs> Since Carolyn said full disclosure. <laughs> <Yeah>. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Uh, Let's see, does anybody have anything else before we uh, like, all right, so does everyone have out their calendars? You ready to book some appointments? Yes. Yep. Okay. Um, let's first figure out the, d the day. Do we wanna, now select board for um, uh, Wilbraham is on Mondays, right? So you can't yes. do Mondays. Yeah, I apologize, thank you. That's okay, I wanna make sure I'm right on that. Um, so, but Tuesdays are open. Mm -hmm. right. All right. Does, uh, how does everybody feel about Tuesdays? Works for me. Tuesdays are fine. Now, do we have, what other boards meet on Tuesdays? Is it just the planning board or? Planning board, conservation. Um, they, they, we do have a second Zoom channel though now. Okay. So I think that they can meet simultaneously. Alexi, is Tuesday hard for you? I can just check. You're on mute. Is that right, Bill? Uh, you can't hear me? No. I can hear oh, you. Now I can hear you. Now we can hear you. I can hear you. What? I do work on Tuesday nights. I'm going to be off for three weeks. How about Thursdays? Yes. So the answer is yes, you can do two Zooms at once. So that's Two fine. Zooms at once. Alexi has some problems with two Tuesdays, but how about wet Thursdays? Most Thursdays, I'm free. Same. Yes, yeah, same here. Same here. It looks like it's just Board of Health. You'd be on Thursdays. Anya, are you okay for Thursdays? And Linda, Carolyn and Linda, are you okay? <laughs> All right, so Thursdays seem to be better, so I want to try for Thursdays. All right, let's do it. All right. We'll do 5.30 each time. Does that sound okay? Yes. I like that. Thank you for doing them earlier. Yeah, no problem. Um, Amy, just um, Thursday, yeah. April 8th is Candidates Night, the Mother's Club. Okay. That's at, but that's at seven. Yeah, I can't make that night either. April 8th, we're not going to do. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Um, I am doing a foster parent program, and I think the, I think the classes on, are on Thursday night. I need to check that. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, that, that starts, let me see. Okay. Dave. How many meetings do you expect this to be over, Amy, so I can get an oh, idea yeah. of how many 
Yeah, oh. I'm not. I'm not going to be able to do Thursdays. I'm. I'm going to be busy every Thursday from here till uh, three months. Okay. What time do your meetings start, Val? Is it um, five thirty to six p.m.? Uh, wait a minute. Uh, let's see. Oh, five thirty to eight thirty p.m. Oh. Well. Yeah. Starting April 1st and ending June 3rd. I'm sorry to be a bummer. Okay. Um. We, can't, we can't do an early morning meeting. No. Okay. And is there a reason why Wednesdays don't work anymore? Well, we could do... Wednesdays aren't bad, but the select board meets on Wednesdays. I mean, we could do... Every, they only meet every other, so we could do this, try to do it every other. And you could that, do the, on the other week, you could do the Tuesday. Is that what you, was there someone who couldn't do Tuesday? I thought that was clear. Yeah. I can't do Tuesdays, but uh, it's not a big deal. I don't think I'm a critical linchpin to this operation. Oh, of course you are. Oh, yes, yeah. you are. Don't undervalue yourself. That's right. We need you. Okay. You're not getting out that easy. <laughs> nice try. <laughs> nice try. Nice try. <laughs> <laughs> If you hadn't missed that meeting, you wouldn't be here tonight. <laughs> now you're stuck. Three years. <laughs> Welcome to the Group W bench. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's uh, uh, let's do what Linda was mentioning. Let's figure okay. out how many meetings we need. So didn't we do like two or three meetings, like two two or three different budget groups a night? Oh That's yeah, fun. we'll do more than yeah. one a night. So yeah. like. We could start with like public safety, and that would be police, fire, and inspectors. Inspections, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then, and then, uh, what's the next group? Let's see. Well, I was. You might be able to get school in the next in the same time or you might be able to fit something else in with the 200s but again that's why it depends on how many meetings you're going to have okay all right let's group as many as we can together let's well let's wait on the um leave public safety alone just for the moment and see if there's another little one we can fit in there after maybe we could go to uh town was the next one maybe town hall all town employees i i don't think that's a, a um, a short one. I would, I would have them in their own meeting, okay. but we can oh, easily yes, right. wrap up, you know, the uh, debt and interest and benefits. We could throw that, you know, since I would be running those and Carolyn and I would be running those budgets anyways, we could, we could just plug those in as needed. Yeah. At all the end meetings. So we don't right. probably do one for that unless we run out of right. time. Okay. That's good. And, and I also think the 400s, the highway, DPW, water, sewer, I think that's going to take, that's going to be another block. So yeah. the big blocks are the public safety, general government 100s, and then uh, DPW, water, sewer. So those would probably be your, um, your, your anchor groups for each meeting. And then you can fit in. Well, then you'd have that one more meeting that would be all the others, like the, uh, Right, the library, the senior center, park and rec, right, planning, planning board, the TV. I'm just trying to think of any other department. Right. Well, yes, the yep. Sure, you can put those on a clean up. So you have yeah the three main meetings, and you either plug the others into the uh, the end of those first meetings, or else you have a clean up meeting and, and put them all in there. The 500s, 600s, and um, that's what the human services culture reclamation. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I think that the ones that you do um, for the, but you know, the um, seven and nines. Yeah. Those are usually easy to plug in and you're doing those. I find yeah. that the other ones might take a little longer. The, the, the council on aging. Okay. And that kind of stuff. I want to give, I want to make sure I give them enough time. Um, because those are the departments. Sometimes I find, you know, those, especially those three departments, the uh, Council on Aging, Library, and Park and Rec, because those are less listed, those are great services, but they're non essential compared to school, police, that kind of thing. 
they're always the ones sometimes that, you know, their budgets get moved around, hit, they have a lot to say. So I, I've just, sometimes that one you got to give a little time to. And the only reason I say school uh, isn't going to take a lot of time is because they are level funding. And I don't know if there's a lot to discuss. So maybe, maybe you want to call Annie, Amy, and see um, how she, you know, to see how that is going to go with school this year. I think we could probably put school in maybe even with highway um, because I, I agree with you. I don't think the school, because they're going to be level funded, they're going to have a lot to say. I think she would be pretty quick in and out. Um, so maybe, so you start with her and yeah, then move on. Yeah. Yeah. Um, because I really think she will be quick. Um, I think that we, we like to dedicate down the road more of a finance whole finance committee meeting at, at time to time to meet with her to discuss, you know, their finances and stuff like that to get a good grasp on, on where they are and what they're doing. But uh, as far as this budget season goes, because they're level funded, I don't really think she is going to have a lot to say. Um, I mean, she's been pretty quick in, as far as in the past when it comes to this right. time during the meeting. She has a lot of great things to say. I know, I like just listening to her. <laughs> she, yeah, yeah, she, yeah, yeah. I'd start with her because she's got great philosophies. <laughs> so articulate. She is. <laughs> and funny. Yeah, maybe you want to start the first meeting, lead out with Annie, and then, then go into public safety. <laughs> that wouldn't be fair to anybody else, though. <laughs> Well, you could leave her for last. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and on a on a and on a non-controversial high note, you know that that's true. You could Ooh, do her wow. with the um, with your other uh, committees there, the five the human services and recreation, Amy, and school. You could do all those as your as a single one. Okay. All right. So are we picking dates here. Yep. Sorry. So let's. So we have. We're going to have four meetings. We're going to have uh, uh, public. We're going to have to invite public safety to one meeting, general government to another meeting. Um, you think that the school would be better off with all the extra, the, the cultural events, or do you think they're better off with highway or just leave highway alone? Um, yeah, I, I would, I would think you'd want to put her, uh, I think you'd want to put it in with uh, the with the cultural ones. Okay. Because I don't I don't know, Amy. Well, all the cultural ones we have so many people coming and that kind of thing. The highway is just Chris. <clears throat> we only got one person. Right. Oh, well, you know what? Then you start with her. Okay. Yeah. If you start with the, you do the three hundreds and four hundreds, then then um, then you'll be all set and we don't have to worry about uh, her because there will be a the DPW will be a long one. He's got a number of budgets and. And um, oh, yeah, I would say I, I yeah. hate to keep people forever and ever and ever. Yeah, so 300s and 400s that's another meeting, then that's okay. going to be the school and the highway. Okay, okay, and, and there then was a the, the general government. So we have four meetings we have the public safety, the school and the highway is the second one, general government, the third one, and then everything else is the fourth one. Yeah, and we'll try and squeeze in the uh the sevens and nines where someone doesn't show or we're wrapping up early or, it, or we can start off as we're waiting for people. I'll be ready with those all the time. Okay, great. So it's the debt and interest and the um, uh, benefits insurance retirement. Great. I don't think there's a lot to discuss, but we'll, but you should uh, be brought up to date on what's going on there. Okay. So the next meeting will be, uh, my calendar so the 31st the select board has a meeting mm -hmm. so i'm thinking april 7th can't make that that's I no can good. do the tuesday the 6th if we can I can't make the, make the 7th either yeah. okay can we do that tuesday for that one uh okay that work that thursday i can't do the 8th 7th 8th and 9th i'm not, I'm not available Okay. Saturdays. Well, Is Saturdays work? Like Saturday mornings? We I used to think I could do that Tuesday. I think I can do that Tuesday. Okay, the sixth. Can yeah. everybody do that? Yep. I can. Okay, so we'll try the sixth. We'll be the first one, okay. April sixth. Right. Uh, 
Okay. Then. And it's going to be at 530, yeah? Yes. Okay. And that will try for the police, the public safety. Oh, nice, Paul. That's my favorite cartoon. I think it applies. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Thank you. All right. So we're in for the sixth. Yeah. And then I'm guessing uh, select board probably has a meeting on the 14th. Mm -hmm. Yes. Am I correct? So mm -hmm. we could do the 21st of April. Which is Wednesday. First. Works to me. Uh, you want to do school and highway? Okay. I'm sorry, Amy. What, what was the last date? I'm sorry. The 31st? The, I'm sorry. 21st. 21st. So we're doing the 6th, the 21st? Yep. Okay. So we're skipping the uh, the week in between? Yeah, because uh, um, that's a Wednesday the um, select board is meeting. Okay. On that Wednesday. And we don't want to just do that Tuesday? Or? Uh, Alexi's not available that Tuesday. Oh, sorry. Sorry. My Selections, bad. too. Oh, okay. Okay. So then... Okay, I need to go back to uh, one more thing before we keep going with this. I need to look at Carolyn's, uh, she has uh, dates when we have to have this all done by, too. What's the dates here? So the warrant, let's see. April 28th is Finance Committee recommendations are complete. Oh. Before we do the demo. The 28th? Mm. Yeah. So you want to do the 20th and the 21st and do them two week, two nights in a row? As grueling as that might be. Um, I could do that. You can, Lexi? Yep. All right. I have a few Tuesdays off in April. Okay. Sorry. Okay. No, I'm okay with that. April 20, 20th and 21st. Okay. Okay. And then we need to find one more date before the 28th. Okay. Well, the 27th, the night before, I think we sort of did it that way last time too, didn't we? Okay. So we got... Does that give us enough wiggle room in case somebody's running long or we have a problem or... I doubt we'll have a problem. Hmm. So when you say recommendations for um the finance that's just us to tell that we're completed and we then talk to the select board right that's only for us to tell the select board mm -hmm. on the 28th okay okay so um you know i could you know we could always if you want to try to throw in a saturday but those are kind of sometimes hard for me because i i'm working until 12. Yeah. Right. Um, I, I could try to do I mean I don't know about during the day if you want to do it earlier um, I could work around my schedule and, and do it at, at work I mean I could do something there too if we needed to yeah, I mean if we wanted if four while, o'clock I could do that. you could do that too Paul if we yeah as long as I have a clear schedule I can probably do that would you be able to do that any day Dylan or you are you're you can't do anything until after a certain time I mean what what does Monday night the 26th look like is that a bad night for everybody yeah Carolyn can't do Monday nights okay I can make it work so you can make a four maybe a four o'clock work for you yeah okay uh, what day are we talking about at four o'clock? I don't know, but if we did a four o'clock, could we do on a Tuesday? I don't know what time you're working, Alexi or Valerie. You said you started at five thirty. If we did a meeting on either a Tuesday or a or a Thursday on one of those, would there what be any way we could do it earlier? I can do that. The, what about the twenty second? So we'll do three. We'll just do a marathon, three days in a row, and we'll do the sorry. 
uh, and we'll do the Thursday at four o'clock or something like that. I could do that. I could do that, but I'm going to jump off at five thirty. Okay. okay, that's a that's a good pressure point for us to get it over with. Wow. Is that okay, Carol? Are you okay with that? Is uh, and I could Mondays if you guys if if that's going to be too much. That's a lot three days in a row for you guys. I, Mondays, as long as I'm at my meeting at six o'clock, um, I can do earlier. Okay. 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 So just just leave that. You know, just know that that. You want to do an earlier Monday, like the 11th at four o'clock or the 12th, I mean. Yeah, I can do that. I can do that. All right. So that's what time was that at four? Did we say? So the uh, April 11th will be a Monday. 12th, right? No, no, the 12th. 12th. Okay, April the 12th. That's a Monday and that's at 4 p.m. Okay. 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 I mean, in most of these, Carolyn, if you had to jump off on that one too, right. because these are the departments telling us what they need. You kind of already know what they need, but it's good that you're hearing what they're saying to us. Sure. So that's yeah. why it's good for you to be in on it, but you're not presenting. You're just listening because it's really their meeting, the department's meeting, yeah. meeting telling us, right? And you can watch it later on TV. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. There's going to be a DVD set too coming out, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, we're supposed to sign the, the labels for people. <laughs> what was the date of the, the 31st? Was that? No. Oh. I think it's the best of, Paul. Yes, best of. <laughs> what was our first night, guys? 24th. 24th. Can, you, can you run down all of them now, Amy? Yeah, right. I got it. Okay, so what I have okay. here, and uh, see if we're all on the same page. April 6th at two, that's a Tuesday, April 6th at 5.30. And then I have April 12th, which is a Monday at 4 p.m. Amy, can I just make a suggestion that you, because uh, you had talked about FinCom at 5.30 uh, on April 6th um, doing public safety. Yeah, why don't we... Um, Carolyn, would you mind if I just give you the dates and you figure out what departments oh, yeah. want to go to what? That's what I was planned on doing. Great, uh, yeah. Because maybe maybe public safety doesn't like that day. They'd rather have a different day. I don't really care which oh, one. Oh, yeah, let me do all those logistics. Yeah, that's not that's fine. Great. Awesome. Good idea. Perfect. So so then what we'll do is we'll have four meetings and then you tell us who's gonna be in on it, and then and then we'll just have to make sure we get it posted. And then I'll, Jennifer's been doing it for me. So we'll just have to, on whatever the topic is. Absolutely. Yep. Okay. So we have April, the third meeting is April 20th. And that's a Tuesday. And the fourth meeting is April 21st. And that's a Wednesday. And they're both at 530, those two. And those are 530. And then do we want to put the 27th on and then we possibly cancel it? We won't advertise that one till we're close. No, if we need it. Well, you're going to need a time where you're reviewing the whole thing. Just talk just, the whole yeah. thing, right. Yeah. Right. So uh, that's, the, that's the one where the town buys us pizzas and we meet that's it. pieces apart, right? Yeah, okay. You got it. What is in the budget? The pizza budget. Oh, yeah. I, I thought David had a fund for that. I don't remember. Well, it's a gate fund. Had that column, I, think, I thought that comes from the nickel, the nickel cans they pick up on the side of the road. <laughs> you know? Oh dear. Well, on this, I agree with going over the whole thing. Like I do too. Said, and and Ooh. let's just uh, before we present it to yep. the um, select board that we all are on the same page. So I right. do like that. Um, I think the 27th might be hard for Alexi. Um, oh, maybe if we do it. Yeah, but this one will be an important one because this is not us listening to them, but this is, I want your input. No, right? I'm off that day. Oh, you are off on the 27th. Well, Tuesdays, th three of the Tuesdays in April, so. Yeah. 
Okay. Oh, so let's do that. Let's do the 27th too then as a summary, as the last meeting where we're going to um, summarize everything and then we'll then we will present to the select board on the 28th. So we'll have a meeting, a finance committee meeting on the 27th. 5.30? At 5.30. Okay. And then we'll present to the select board the next day on the 28th. Okay. That works? Me. Okay. And what time should we be at the tri-board meeting? Oh, wait a minute. Um, Thursday. So I'm not going to be at the... Oh, this is Wednesday. The tri board meeting is on Wednesday. Okay, I can do that. What time should do we need to to be there at the tri board meeting? And I don't even know if it is a tri board meeting. Do you so, know? I have a question mark that I put there a while ago, so I have to find out what that question mark means. Okay, okay. that would be the twenty eighth we're talking about. Yeah, right? let me let me clarify on that date. Okay. Okay. So what I can do is tomorrow, I'll just send everyone an email with just my dates and the times of we have what we have. And then uh, just to make sure we're all on the same page. And then after that, uh, Carolyn can fill us in on what what's going in all those slots. Does that sound good? Great. Yes. yes. So I guess we're done with that part. And so the next thing would be just um, the last thing that we have right now is just the um, transfers. Uh, I think we have reserve transfers here, some transfers requests. Three of them. Yeah. Um, I didn't really get a chance to go in to look at it too much. You wanna maybe you explain them to us? Carolyn? Sure. Sure. I'll do the, um, yeah, a actually, why don't I do um, the one for um, building maintenance? Okay. And that is for uh, the, the HVAC system is run by a computer. And so the software as well, um, there's an explanation here. Um, it's out of date and the memory and memory must be replaced and upgraded. So it's basically, I, I, I definitely asked Gary, you know, is it critical? Does it have to be done now? And he said, absolutely. Um, so uh, I did make sure that that's... it was needed and that there wasn't anything else we could, there was no fixing it. There's no, none of that. It's gotta be, it's definitely gotta be um, brought to date. Now that I see that they still have money in the budget. You're looking for $6,000 transfer, but I see the current says it's 42,000. Is that right? There is a balance in the budget. Um, I don't know what uh, there are plans for. I know that this system is outside of what was budgeted. So I assume that those are regular expenses that, um, that were already planned. So is this like a regular desktop computer? Now, I have Gary here to answer those questions. Um, okay. right. I'm not sure. Okay. I, Sorry. It's a company and it's, it's one of those things that is also Proprietary. company specific. Okay. Yeah. As uh, well. Okay. I'm sorry, I missed sorry, what Paul. this is. That's all right. I just, you know, I know what I pay for top end computers and it's nowhere near that. So, but you know, you get into proprietary stuff, there's nothing you can do. It's like buying parts for elevators or. Yeah. yeah. Which building okay. is this for? It's for the town, town hall. hall. Town hall. Um, so. I, I, I'm really, so what if we, if we didn't, would they, I, I mean, I get that they need it and that's fine. I'm not saying that they don't. I'm just wondering, do we let them use the money in their budget first and then, and then do the transfer for whatever is left over that's needed? Is that, or. 
that that is actually something that I said might have that you might decide, but that you still I said still defile it because you would like to know to earmark that so yeah. that you actually put a hold on that money in case they need that. But um, so I don't know if you want to fund it in part or on whole uh, or in whole, but I do know that you sometimes do decide that if there's enough money in the budget to go ahead and use it, that you'll you'll park it in finance committee sort of informally and, uh, and it will be available if it's needed. So it's your call. I, I guess I'm not, I, I guess I, I, I think that um, I'm not opposed to doing something that's ab absolutely needed. I think that's fine, but I think that, um, you know, we could do it at any time any, and, and we're going to be having a lot of these meetings if we find that, that we're getting closer and you need it, well then let's do it then maybe. Can So I kind of like the idea of parking it for a little bit because if it ends up finding that they're not using, that instead of that, that, that they didn't use all of their budget, then they could just take it out of there. It's just less free cash that we're gonna have. It, I mean, it's gonna come back free cash, I guess, either way, but um yeah, and I could if, if I can make it easier, and I can find out exactly what um, why he's concerned now. Um, I like the fact, that, to be honest with you, as a town administrator, that a, a department head is looking ahead and realizing that what was budgeted for um, at this point in time, he knows he's gonna he has expenses ahead of time, and, and I and we did talk about that. I just I, I'm not the expert in what these what the things that he needed and what, what he had already budgeted for. So on one hand, I do appreciate that, but I understand your perspective, but let me get some more information about that as well. Okay. So let's just put this one just on hold. Yep. I'm not against whatever he wants to do. Yeah, I understand. I understand. Yeah. Just definitely. I want him to know that we're on board with, I think I I'm what he works on and how much stuff he does at all the town um, in all the maintenance. I, I don't want to slow down any maintenance. That's for sure, but yeah. Did we get a new system? I mean, if our system was working and then the company made it not work, so we had to buy their software, that sounds pretty bad. I don't think it was a matter of that. I think that was part, you know, I don't know the history obviously, um, but uh, Gary t is definitely the better person that can explain it. I do think it is company directed. I don't, I think that it, it may have been a case where we, it, what might not have been kept up to date, which we would kind of own that might not have been up to date, but I don't want to speak on behalf of Gary. Yeah. But you're, you're not telling him, to, you're not suggesting that the project be on hold, just no. transferring that money into the budget to cover it would be on hold because there's other money that they can use first. Isn't that what you're saying? What they I'm can saying, proceed with the project. Exactly. Well, hey, that's, a, that's your call. That's, that's the town administrator's call. I mean, you guys know yeah, we have project. to, we have to do something because it's 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 on borrowed time. Then there you go. So that, I'm not telling you what's a good project, what's a bad project, because right. I don't really know those details. Um, if you let me get more information, then, yeah. Okay. Susan posted in the chat that the original computer that they changed over the heating cooling system. Do you want to elaborate that on that, Susan? That's not. Yeah, uh, Gary said it. Uh, the operating system in it is it isn't handling the program anymore it was the original computer and it's i guess what needs to be done because that was i don't know seven or eight years ago that they it was before me so i think it's longer yeah, than that seven or eight years ago and if that computer's been around that long so Personally, having dealt with some of this HVAC stuff in buildings and software, I would not be surprised if it was 6,000. Like Paul was saying, it's probably proprietary. And Yeah. But I feel like a little bit more information. We have these little 300-hour thermostats in my place. Controls everything. It's, works really well. <laughs> I miss those. <laughs> they have timers. You can set the dates, leaving, coming, going. It's all just in a little thermostat. Yeah. You know? Programmable has its own little computer. You just put batteries in it a couple times a year. Yeah, that doesn't really contribute to the economy, though. True. And yeah. your windows don't rattle when trucks go by. <laughs> no. no. Mm -hmm. All right. So that one, uh, 
you know, uh, it's a good project, the project goes forward, and then we're just holding the transfer until it's more decided whether or not it's needed. Okay. Um, it, okay. So um, we'll hold on to that. What's then there's another one here for 210,000. Um, 210. Let's yeah. see. You're looking at that one? Yeah. Yep, that is the budget that was calculated on a, um, our um, HR director was on deployment. He was going to be back. It was budgeted for a later time. He came back earlier. Um, and so he works full time, the interim worked part time. Okay. So there's that will definitely go that. over. I guess I'm confused. So there's two from HR. Yep. The other one is when he, um, because uh, we have Hampshire County retirement, you have to you have to pay into that. That wasn't done when he was on military military deployment. So in order to keep him to date, we have to deposit that money back in, mm -hmm. and that's the five thousand two hundred and seventy. Five thousand. So that goes into what bucket? It goes into the retirement? Is that what you said? Yeah, it's for his, it's, it's to pay Hampshire County retirement systems. Okay. So it's money that wasn't taken out of his check because we weren't paying him. That should have been going in while he was gone and it wasn't. Okay, and we didn't budget for that because we just forgot about that when we were doing it too. And so now, that, now yeah. the HR line item is zero. It looks like, okay. Okay, so the HR line item, the current um, in that account that it's receiving is zero because it just needs that. All the other monies that we put in, I, I guess I wasn't sure what when I saw that current balance receiving the account is zero because we didn't put anything in for him. Each one's separate, I guess. So yeah, they're two separate. Two okay. separate ones, yeah. Okay. And the, the current balance has the 24,000, but it will be a negative 210. Salary you can predict till the end of the year. So whether she he, she comes now for it or comes in two months, okay, the outcome's the same. That's the one thing we can predict okay. by the end of the year. I just have a question about the attached uh, budget worksheet. At the end it says, uh, Negative balance to two hundred seven seventeen is the two ten just a rounded up number or is there a reason why there's difference between the two ten and the two hundred seven seventeen? I'm pretty sure it's rounding. Is there any reason not to do the just the accurate number? I don't think so. Um, I would like to be able to ask Joan that. If there's a reason that it's 210 and not 207. I just don't want you to have to do this. Well, I guess, uh, do we have a motion to do the transfer, whether it be 207 or 210? I mean, we can just make them, we have a motion. Not, to, not to exceed. On whichever one it is. Not to exceed. Yeah, not exactly. Ooh, that's, that's good. good. That's good. So is that a motion from Paul or yes or yes, no? Yes, I'm sorry. That's a motion for me, not to exceed. Okay. And all the other stuff that goes with it. Yes. And I'll second that. Okay. So is there any more discussion on this? No? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, do we have a motion for um, the <clears throat> other one, which is the HR's retirement that we need to move for the 5270 Point I'll make a motion to move yeah. the 5,270.93 cents. I will, uh, sorry, ship's clock. Uh, I will uh, second that. Great. Any other discussion? No. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, so those two, it needs approval. Does it need all of our signatures or just the one? 
Carolyn, does it need out? So I'm looking here. Um, usually, well, I'm used to it just having the chair sign it, but it may be different in Hadley. Well, the last time it was just the, I, I this, this form looks a little different than the last time and it was just, I signed it last time. Yeah. I would say it's just the chair because you did an official, but you did a vote. Yeah. You passed it. All right, I'll sign it and send it. I'll just scan it and send it to you then. Thank you. Is that fine? Okay. Um, and I guess that is it. Do we have anything, any other business? Anybody can think of? No. <coughs> All right. Motion to adjourn. Second. Yeah. Yes, uh, motion and a second. All right. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. So Good, good night.